Hello, how are you? I'm about to make um, dough for bread that I'm gonna bake for my mom later on in the day. It's still early right now. It's like 7.50 in the morning and this is my first time talking to anyone today. My mom already left. Anyway, um, it's been so many years since I've done this. This is what we've done. We had done all our lives growing up because we were not well off. So we used to knead dough and bake our own bread on the stovetop, not in the oven. We didn't have an oven. We used what is called a Primus stove, P-R-I-M-U-S. Primus stove, which um, fuels with paraffin. So Google it if you've never heard of it. Anyway, um, so here goes it. All right, here are my ingredients. This is flour. It's, br it's We're making brown bread for my mom. She doesn't like um, white bread. And yeast, which is a raising agent. Salt. And warm water to knead the dough with. All right, so I've poured in some of that water in here. And now it's time to do the kneading. I've washed my hands, obviously. I guess you could wear gloves to do this, if you like, especially if you have long nails, because you wouldn't want that under your nails, and at the same time, nobody wants to eat that. You just keep doing this until all the flour has been kneaded or mixed with water. Um, you don't want it to be, you don't want your dough to be too hard, but at the same time, you don't want it to be too soft and like watery. So that's why you add your water in increments. Like now it's getting kind of hard and at the same time I still have some, like a lot of flour to work with because I'm filming this myself, I'm gonna put it down and add more water. Hold that, we're done with the kneading. You see the consistency? It's hard-ish, but it's okay. It's gonna raise or rise. What is the right word? Rise to the occasion. Anyway, it's gonna rise and uh, it'll probably go up to double the size that it is now. Right now, this is how big it is which is what he said too. Anywho, um, you can always wash your bowl before you cover this up because you want to cover it up nicely and warm. It needs that heat to raise. Or, you know what we used to do when we were young? We would um, cover the thing up with plastic first because we didn't have big containers that had lids. And also you want something flexible in case it rises higher than the lid so the plastic is more flexible it may you know anywho we would do that and then we'll cover it up with like a dish towel and then another one maybe a towel real towel that we don't use to shower with and just keep covering up with blankets and blankets and blankets and then put it somewhere dark or whatever or what we would also do to make it rise even faster we would put the whole thing after covering it up on top of um, the house, like on the rooftop because the sun. And then in a couple of hours or so, an hour or two, two, it would have ra raised, raised, I'm struggling with this word. Anyway, then um, we would, of course, bake the bread or fed cookie, fed cakes. They, they look like plain donuts. We would then do that or dumplings or whatever you want to do. I mean, with dough, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I'm not going to put it outside now because no. And it's it was raining the past two days. So I don't know. I'm not going to do that. But that's what we used to do growing up. First layer of covering. Plastic all sealed. OK, so my mom's not home and she doesn't know I'm doing this right now. So I don't know how she keeps everything <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and use this newspaper to cover up the thing first 
so plastic first and then I used this all done all covered up I'm gonna put it away now and wait like an hour to two it's been hours since we covered up our dough in all those layers of warmth and we hid it under <laughs> this is where I put it I didn't tell you this but now you know it's under my blankets in my bed so let's see what it, what it looks like <laughs> this blanket is everything by the way it's a new blanket my mom has had in forever it's cold yeah it's winter so no it's not winter we just got out of winter sunny today shoot I can smell the yeast the raising agent you see it's all you see the hold and stuff it's all risen and it's now softer than when I put it in <laughs> it's not always the case Ah, I'm sorry forgive me anyway let's bake it okay so I bundled up our dough again just so that it's nice and neat and it's ready to be put in a pot when we were young we used to use um, wholesome I don't know how to describe it it's fat it's kind of Kurdish I don't know I don't know how to describe it but I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I'm gonna use a lot more than I should of this so that we have a nice and oily and greasy crust for me i'm not supposed to eat bread but i'll treat myself we are on vacation after all by we i mean me yeah i'm gonna heat this up a little bit and then it's gonna melt and it's gonna expand or increase okay, it's in that's what she said just kidding that's what he said so it's in you can hear it. I'm gonna cover it up nicely. Make sure your lid is the right size so that there's no air coming in, making it not the temperature that you want it to be. We don't do temperatures because remember, this is when we didn't have a lot of money. So it's very basic. Just cover it up with the right size lid, probably. That's the right size, but I was using this for the soup that I just made, which is absolutely delish, if I must say so myself. Oh my gosh, split peas, spinach from our garden, just like so good. It's gonna be for dinner. Um, it's cold and wet out, so just the right thing. I'm not gonna talk too much because I gotta cover this up and leave it for maybe 30 minutes or so in medium heat. And then flip it over, same amount of time on the other side, maybe less, and that's it. Let's see what our bread looks like. I've already flipped it over from one side to another. Now it should be completely done. There it is, folks, my bread and butter. <laughs> I did stab it here to see if um, it's okay all the way in. You don't want it to get stuck on its way back. I'm doing it with one hand now, so obviously. You don't want it to come up with dough. So it's dry, which means there's no dough inside. It's not damp, it's ready. And I may have already stolen a slice to taste. <laughs> Here we go. That's what it looks like inside. Why am I pointing at it? <laughs> See, it's real bread. You too can make bread on the stove top in a pot. If you have a two plate stove or a flame stove, a primer stove or any kind of stove, you too, my friend, can make your own bread at home, can bake your own bread. Everybody doesn't need a real stove. Everybody doesn't need electricity. We didn't have electricity when we made this kind of bread back home. I didn't know what electricity was. Half the time we cooked in the fire outside. I'm talking about this generation. <laughs> So it's a real thing. Thank you for watching. If you do make your own bread, please message me, send me a picture, tag me. I would really like to see how it turns out. Toodles. One last thing. Um, you might want to wrap it up in a dish towel. If your crusts are too hard for you, depending on your liking. If you feel like your crust is too hard, you can take a damp dish towel, wrap up your bread for a bit while it's still warm to soften the crust. 
I mean, some people cut the crust and throw it away. They cut it and throw it away, but that takes away from the fun of the whole craft of the whole art, right? So you can do that, or you can sprinkle some water on the hard part of the crust. Sometimes one side of the crust is harder than the other. Sprinkle a little bit of water and then wrap it with a dish towel. Mmm. Watching the high protein lady eat bread, carbs, right? From scratch. It's good. Even if I'm a save to myself. <laughs>